One of the great benefits about owning flood barriers is the ability to show up at a backyard barbecue and create your own swimming pool. Or in this case, we created a swimming track with local irrigation water using the NOAC box wall. Upon releasing the water, we created a track for the water to go down and we thought we'd go ahead and share the, the release and, and what we learned. We had the water-filled flood tubes, we have the NOAC box wall, and we have the Enero flood barrier. As the water is released, you can see the water tube there on the left is starting to crumple. We'll discuss that here in a minute, but the water that escaped on the left side does get effectively stopped and redirected from the next water-filled flood barrier. This is another angle as the water comes in. The water tube in the center, half of it has a plastic liner on it and half of it does not. We're curious to see the difference of seepage it makes. On the left, you can see a water-filled flood tube that has plastic over it, which effectively protected the garage from any water touching it at all. You can see the 2x4s that we put underneath the water tubes to prevent them from rolling. This is a sloped driveway and water pressures would have caused them to roll had we not reinforced them. We're surprised at how well that water tube sealed off the gutter from any water going down it because it was a curved slope and so it effectively sealed it off. Here are some of the key takeaways from this experiment. The flood tubes sealed well on the curved surface of the gutter. The flood tubes effectively caught and redirected the water that escaped. Our main point of seepage was at the tie-in of the two flood barriers, which we traditionally cover with plastic, as we would when we tie a flood barrier into a house. Always reinforce water-filled flood tubes to prevent them from rolling. No water touched the garage. And this was our first time working with the steel and aluminum Enero flood barrier, which were simple and effective. They are heavier and more expensive, but are a great option for long-term applications and rough environments. Now, let's move to the backyard. For starters, it's fantastic being able to show up at a barbecue with the ability to create a swimming pool or a swimming track in this case. The water-filled flood tubes should have had a greater overlap at the point of the water being released for better protection. And this water-filled flood tube crumpled because of the water pressure and the fact that it was not completely full. And finally, we would have benefited from having a smaller kayak. We always enjoy learning through experimentation and sharing what we learn along the way and want to say thanks for watching.